Good morning, guys. May 3rd. It is Tuesday. It's a Mac Daddy Tuesday. You guys do me a favor. Get me a big old favor out of your pocket and hand it to me. And that favor being, get your scriptures real quick. Just real fast. We're not going to be here. I'm not going to hold you hostage. You're not going to be here for so many minutes. Even though I know some of y'all, you probably want longer. And some of y'all, maybe you want shorter. I don't know. I keep these at three minutes. These specific videos talking about scripture, I keep them at three minutes. Get your scriptures and go to 1 Kings, Mac Daddy, chapter 3. I'm Mac Daddy, I'm, 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 you know what I'm saying? Verse 5. <clears throat> in Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night. And God said, Ask what I shall give thee. And Solomon said, Thou hast showed unto thy servant David, my father, great mercy, according as he walked before thee in truth and in righteousness and in uprightness of heart with thee. And thou hast kept for him this great kindness, that thou, that thou hast given him a son to sit on his throne, as it is this day. And now, O Lord my God, thou hast made thy servant king instead of David my father, and I am but a little child. I know not how to go out or come in. And thy servant is in the midst of thy people, which thou hast chosen, a great people, that cannot be numbered nor counted for multitude. Give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people, that I may discern between good and bad. For who is able to judge this thy so great a people? And the speech pleased the Lord that Solomon had asked this thing. And God said unto him, Because thou hast asked this thing, and hast not asked for thyself long life, neither hast asked riches or thy, for thyself, nor hast asked the life of thine enemies, but hast asked for thy self-understanding to discern judgment. Behold, I have done according to thy words. Lo, I have given thee a wise and an understanding heart, so that there was none like thee before thee, neither after thee shall any arise like unto thee. And I have also given thee that which thou hast not asked, both riches and honor, so that there shall not be any among the kings like unto thee all thy days. So, that's that's a lot to say. This is where, obviously, Solomon, it, it's like the beginning of God blessing him with understanding and wisdom. We know Solomon to be the wisest king who ever lived, the wisest person who ever lived, and it just says right there that there wasn't any before him that was like that, and there won't be anybody after him like that. Now, does that mean we can't have wisdom? Of course not. Are you kidding me? Of course not. Jesus came, so how much more wisdom can we have? Not... And it's not like a scale. It's not like a sliding scale. You have more or less wisdom. Hey, keeping this at three minutes. I told y'all. I love you guys. Have a good day.